Janet's Dexter Steers and Ixworth Poultry have already gone for slaughter. But the three porkers have clearly got under her skin and Janet's face with the hardest farewell of all. Hi, guys. I've come to say goodbye. I'm afraid it's off to the slaughterhouse for you. I'm sorry, because you've been good fun and you've got great personalities. But you're going to make the most fantastic meat, I know that. Do you want one last game of football? Should we just have one last game? I'll be in goal. Come on, pass. Pass it. Come on, pass. They will make the most brilliant meat, I know that. And they've really fattened up well. They're really happy animals. So I don't feel that bad about them going to the slaughter. Yeah. Right. Very good. Janet takes the pigs on their final journey. Well, I'm sad the pigs are going to be slaughtered because they, of all the animals, they've got the biggest personalities and they've been a real pleasure to be around. On the other hand, they're never going to be pets. They were always being bred for food and I think they've had a terrific life. Hello, Janet. Martin! Oh, terrible weather. Beautiful weather. Ugh. Slaughterman Martin McIntyre leads the pigs to a temporary pen. This brief respite allows the pigs to relax and it's called lairage. Nice pigs. I don't want the last time they see me to be wearing looking like this. The pigs will be slaughtered as humanely as possible. So before they are killed, they will be stunned. Electrical tongs pass 240 volts through the pig, knocking it out. They'll know and feel nothing. The pig's throat must be cut within 15 seconds of stunning to ensure an absolutely painless end. I mean, it's hard to watch. You sure they don't feel anything? Not a thing. The pig now dead, its carcass goes into a hot water tank to get rid of its extraordinary wiry hair. Feel that, Janet. Like a baby's bone. Feel that. Hey. An inspector from the Meat Hygiene Service monitors the slaughter process to make sure all the meat and offal is fit for human consumption. The pig is then gutted and his organs inspected. So does the meat inspector inspect all of this? Yes. Yeah. They have to be certified before they can pass into the food supply chain. Next, she inspects the carcass. Yeah. Nice. I think that's a, good, good, yes. that's a good pig. Good pig. <laughs> right, so we can serve that in Gordon's restaurant. Yeah, you can. <laughs> OK, well, get your stamp on yes. it then. Finally, the carcass is split and hung in the chiller, ready for shipping. Pork should hang for two to three days for its best flavour. Back at her small holding, Janet has time to reflect on a once in a lifetime farming experience. Mothering, well, it's not something I took to. I miss the pigs, 